Hello everyone, and welcome to Dixon Waterfowl uh, Refuge Center. So we are in the middle of nowhere in Illinois, and we are at this now, this kind of swampland. So this used to be all farmland about 90 years ago, and then they took it over and they wanted to give local birds a chance to re-inhabit the area without being disturbed. All right, so to begin, we're going to start with the Prairie Wetland Trail, which is about a half uh, mile long little trek. And it goes from the parking lot out to a dock. Well, she was facing the other direction. So one thing I'm loving about this area is that the bugs pay more attention to the plants than to us. Unlike, what was it, this morning with all those black flies? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it was terrible. We are at the campground, um, it's in Havana is the name of the town, and the black flies were crazy because I was getting ready just to murder anything and everything. Only that for I saw. you. Oh, it was terrible. They weren't bothering her at all. Yes. They were bothering me like crazy. Like, I'm pretty sure they said, let's have a group meeting. That guy is our target. So I'm over here. They all move over here. I'm over over here. They all move over here. Uh-uh. Oh, boy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, I have a problem with one of my UV filters. It fits on my big lens, It's which is the... Um, 55 to 200 millimeter lens. I have the 18 to 55 on the camera now, and for the life of me, I can't get it to work, even though it's supposed to be the same size. I don't know. And luckily, I've dropped this UV lens twice, and it has not fallen through the giant cracks beneath us. So, I don't think I can risk doing it a third time. <laughs> I think I've been pretty lucky with not losing it mm -hmm. twice. Because I did lose the other one that I had. Now, I don't know, some of you probably have seen this video, some of you have not. But in January, I was in Mexico and I went to an archeological site and I was doing what Akane does. I was looking down, I was looking into a tomb and sure enough, it fell off and dropped into a tomb where it remains today. So don't drop your lens, mm -hmm. UV covers in the tombs of ancient kings, mm -hmm. you won't get it back. Mm -hmm. There you go, that's what, it, that's what it looks like. You screw it right on here like so. And it's supposed to attach to the grooves. Oh, there, it caught a groove. Thank goodness for that. You know what? This is the longest it's ever taken to do half a mile. This is longer than when we did that group tour with Tanvi. <laughs> Sorry, Tanvi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we took around three hours the hike. Yeah. Well, that was longer. That was a 7K hike. So this is half a mile, which is like not even one kilometer. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> shall we? We shall. Okay. Better I do need to clean one? this lens so I can see a giant smudge on it. Mm-hmm. Pretty you up. Oh, looking all out here. You go. Looking good now. Ah, oh, you have some now. Yeah. Now the lens looks better. Do I look better? Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> what kind are these? Ayame. What? Ayame. What's that in English? I don't know. Of course, I don't know. If you don't know, if of course, I don't know. Are these... Know. They're not tulips, are they? I don't know. I don't know. So, I mentioned before in the last, in the last video, get off, oh, there's a bug right on the camera. It's still sitting there. <laughs> Your camera. This is very distracting. So in the last video, I commented that we were expecting a lot of rain, or that we were expecting to get rain today. So far, so good. We even had just a little bit of spell of full-on sun, and it is hot. It has been so hot here. It's been 
well, it, it, for me, it's been wonderful. It's been, today's about 20, feels like 25. Yesterday was a little intense, even for me. Now, I usually, I don't like to admit that the sun's super hot, because I just, I absolutely love it. And usually the hotter, the better. But it was 33 and felt like 42 yesterday here in Illinois. And every time I stepped outside, I was, okay, it is really hot out here. So usually I don't get a chance to say that. I definitely don't get a chance to say that at home. Usually our summers at the max get to about 30, and that's only for a handful of days out of the entire year. So, something that I'm not overly used to, except for when I've been other places. Wow. Oh, yeah. Guess who's liking the bugs now, huh? Did he just fly in your head? It's okay, honeybee. No. I have honey. <laughs> All right, let's see what you found here. Let's, let's call it a little ant house, yeah. yes. Let's... Definitely easier for digging because... Yeah, I wonder where they got this kind of sand from. Technically making house, like... Yeah, that's right. The ground, so, it's from... so they brought it up from underneath? Mm -hmm. I suppose. I suppose. Gosh darn it, you're smart. Don't do what? Show your poop on the ground? Why'd you put it there for? Why didn't you go to the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't tell you. <laughs> this make me walk in it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really nice of you. Ah, uh, but in the car I have to do <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If I step in it, I'm sitting next to you. I'm lying next to you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> So, Akane has felt that Kentucky and Illinois more closely resemble Japan, where she's from, than Halifax, mm -hmm. Nova Scotia. Why is that? High humidity? Yes. Hotter? Yes. More similar bugs and animals? Not any more bugs. Mostly. More similar yeah. bugs? Mm -hmm. So this has taken her home. Because how long has it been since you've been home? One year, almost. Close to a year? You're crazy. <laughs> and she can't even go home because she's from Fukushima. So that's a radioactive disaster at the moment still. So her home is away from home at all times at the moment. Mm. So I, I, I just, I can't even imagine what it'd be forced to move from your home due to a natural disaster, due to war, due to whatever. It's just, for me, it's, it's, un, it's unimaginable. I can't even... I, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand. I don't what understand it's like. too. <laughs> yeah. See, well, I you've, can't read. You've lived with it. Yeah. Do you think it's helped that you've moved? Because she's also lived in Toronto, here in Canada. She's also lived in New Zealand, Australia. You've traveled Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. So do you think that's helped with the fact that you can't go back to your childhood home? Do you mean topic one? Four? Do you think it's made it easier that you've been able to go and do all those things as opposed to like your parents or your sister or your brother who have to like stay and try and create yeah. a new life there? But I feel like sorry to them because I am the one just to evacuate from my hometown. So. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm going to get a clearer shot of this uh, swamp? swamp. You guys want to see the swamp, right? Yes.
All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're one of the guys that we met here at Dixon Waterfowl uh, Refuge, it was really nice to meet you. Thank you for coming over. Uh, I hope you guys like any of the videos that you get a chance to watch. For everyone else, thank you so much for watching again. It means a lot. Hit that thumbs up if you happen to like this video. And if you're brand new to the channel, I just want to say welcome. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you subscribe. I hope you like this stuff. We do a lot of traveling. We do a lot of fun stuff. So I hope to see you in the upcoming videos. All right, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. I got a piece of cotton fly at me. <laughs> <laughs>